Yeah. Hold on, I'm sorry. It's fucking so fucking stupid in chat. It's not just a one day fucking thing, you fucking morons. Like, typically, people that celebrate Chinese New Year's will do it for like almost up to two weeks. It's not a one fucking day thing. If you're gonna call me out for being an American, don't be fucking culturally retarded, you fucking moron. What's up, Lickin? Hey, man, how you doing? Pretty good. Hit me up. What Wait, you got? Uh, I got so much, dude. Like, I have three hours worth of content. I've been taking notes for two fucking weeks. I am so ready for this okay, fucking moment. Okay, go. You got two minutes. What do you want? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. All right. Um. Hey, what? God, I don't know where to start. I'm going to just read topics. You tell me which one sparks your interest, okay? I want you to enjoy this experience. Okay. Toxic masculinity. Yeah, go uh, for it. We can do that one. Cool. All right. What is the line between... So, I, the one that got this note was the... Uh, that show what's the one you do the raj show right mm -hmm. yeah so that got brought up and i i agree that with the idea of toxic masculinity for a long time i said uh it's fucking stupid because i don't like it was a knee-jerk reaction right but the more i thought about it the more i listened to the uh, the argument i get the idea of toxic toxic masculinity to mm -hmm. a degree yeah but my question is like what is the line and i know that's a cliche right well what is the line where does it stop but genuinely what is the line? Is masculinity itself a construct that can't be accepted and we need to do away with it and everyone is equal? Or is there an idea of being a, quote, man um, that actually has some some merit? I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I, it might be necessary for society for a lot of the way people view themselves. But, I mean, I, I'd say fuck it. I, I think that most of these things could be viewed as traits that both people should desire. But, I mean, I don't know. It's... Is, that, is that it? Like, I mean, the, just that the idea of, quote, being a man is just something that eventually is going to be phased out if um i don't know if it will be i mean group identity is really fucking important to a lot of people um so i don't know if you can ever phase out completely like stuff like that cool um do i have more time go for it dude what you got all right so i, I listened i never watched the original john tron debate but i saw you brought up a new thing about it um and i have a lot of comments about it coming up again but the one thing i do want to say is let's look at the less inflammatory idea and now, first of all, I'm not saying I agree with John Tron. I'm just posing a question. If I told you that I don't like mm -hmm. that other societies that have been around a long time have had inflation grow to such a point that they no longer have a lower denomination of currency. So the one, five, ten, et cetera, doesn't exist for them. I say that I myself, I enjoy that we have the one dollar bill, the five dollar bill, the ten dollar bill. And if you were to say, hey, um, in your lifetime, that's not going to be a thing anymore soon, you know. 5,000 won't mean anything. It'll sure. be like five bucks. And I said, uh, that kind of bothers me. Can anyone really have a problem with that? Like, no, you can that's say logically. Fine. Hyperinflation is really fucking bad. It destroys a lot of people's lives. That'd be a bad thing. Well, yeah. right. So I'm, but I'm saying from my understanding, I'm not even thinking of that far ahead, right? I'm right. saying, uh, I like the $5 bill. I don't want to call it a $5,000 bill. I want to keep the $5 bill because it's just, it's what I know, right? Okay. You can't really get upset with anyone about that. Because it's just, you can say, oh, I mean, yeah, it might suck. You have to accept change. But at the end of the day, it's going to happen regardless, right? So okay. I bring that example up because it's not, you know, I think there is merit to the idea that some people are uncomfortable with the idea that the world would change to such degree that you look around yourself and everyone is different. Sure. Like, like so I, I feel that when listening to his... Uh, his side like i don't think he was articulating that aspect of it as well because he kept going back to naturalism and tribalism but it but there is to some degree the need to consider how people are going to feel about it when you're discussing those issues yeah for sure i totally agree and i think that there are some concessions that should be made a lot of people don't like me for saying this but um i actually like the more i've thought about this the more strongly i feel this way i really do feel like there should be like an enforcement for like national languages like i think that should actually be like a pretty big thing um that, that maybe even there's like some legalese there that goes into enforcing that where like if you're part of like a certain country um like we, we should probably pay attention to like you should probably be able to speak like the language of whatever country you're in like that should probably be like a requirement um i actually got this feeling a lot when i was in um uh it was really strange but um do, uh, being in auckland the capital of new zealand mm -hmm. there's a lot of chinese people there holy shit and there was like um there was like a um uh, there's like the tallest building they have you can go into like the observatory at the top which is really cool but there was like a whole celebration outside for like chinese new year stuff and all of it was written in chinese and um and personally i don't give a fuck i don't care about any of this shit 
Um, but I could see like an old person or maybe somebody in their thirties or forties that had like, if they'd been in this part of the country, like a lot, um, and they traveled around the country a lot and they'd spent a lot of time in certain areas, if they come back to it and all of a sudden, like you don't even recognize the language anymore, I could see people that would feel a little bit uncomfortable with that. I think that's, yeah. I yeah, that's, yeah. 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 Uh, damn. There was some other aspect of that, that, uh. But yeah, so that that was the really the big thought with the the John Tron one is I feel um, let me look at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything. But I think that was really it. It's like I understand the people's knee jerk reaction to the idea that everything's going to change so drastically mm-hmm. that I don't think it's it is about race. And I I know you kept like yeah I don't think it, I mean well some people make it that way. I think you could have these discussions like John Tron wasn't capable of doing it, and most people are just fucking racist. Um, but I do think that there are probably reasonable discussions to have about like how fast can a society change, and we reasonably expect people to keep up with it. Um, because like at some level, like holy shit, like things can change like very fucking fast, and it can be almost inhuman to expect um, some people to be able to keep up with how rapidly things are changing, and then to still feel like they're part of that society and they're still like a, a valued member of it i can i can see that i think there's reasonable discussions to be had there so i think that that kind of segues into a different idea which is what's the concern about how fast society moves as far as progressivism goes there's a lot of stuff that's changed that that maybe five years ago i would have been like why why are we doing this but now as, as my political views have changed i'm more okay with it but you're going to have that where it happens so fast and it has there's it's undeniable the amount of change we've had in the last five years has been insane and very rapid in comparison to the last, you know, the hundred years that came before it, um, is uh, not a, what would the word be where I'm speculating here? Like I have no conclusive proof, but I mean, hold on. I'm sorry. It's fucking so fucking stupid in chat. That was peak American from destiny. It's fucking Chinese new year's. It's not just a one day fucking thing. You fucking morons. Like typically people that celebrate Chinese new year's will do it for like almost up to two weeks. It's not a one fucking day thing. If you're going to call me out for being an American, don't be fucking culturally retarded. You fucking moron. Holy shit. Sorry. Go. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Um, fuck. Where was it? Uh, it was the, um, fuck. Damn it. What's that guy's name in chat who fucked with you? Cause uh, no one no, fucked with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was the, um, fog. Oh yeah. So the idea that we're so like, you know, you're talking about like political violence and all that, but obviously you're talking from a different end of the perspective, uh, the spectrum, but the idea that change gets pushed so fast and there are people that are resistant, resistant to that change, whether mm-hmm. it's for a political affiliation, for religious beliefs, for just, you know, their idea of culture and society. Isn't it possible that, you know, we inadvertently radicalize and push things. Yeah, of course. That always happens when things change. That's not a good reason not to change, though. Th- that Absolutely. argument is very scary, right? That's kind of like, because like you can use that argument for so many bad things, right? Like, well, if we let people get into interracial relationships, aren't we going to make a lot of people more racist? Like, yeah, maybe, but that's not a good reason not to do it, right? Yeah. But I it is totally something to be agree. aware of, yeah. And I think that's the important part, right? Yeah. Because you have to be aware of the way that people think and feel. Because if you don't take that in consideration, you just say, oh, you're on the wrong side of history, then you, you just end up alienating a bunch of people. Yeah. Exactly. And in the end, that kind of hurts the, you know, that hurts the Yeah, it can. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a difficult balancing act between like, how do you push things in a good direction forward versus um, not trying to like tone police or limit people trying to push for positive change? Yeah. Right. Um, I have a thousand things, but I want to, I want one more thing about the, I know you've heard, been hit up about it a lot. The political violence thing, mm-hmm. I guess my, my idea before I have any criticism is to understand Do you think that at this moment we are at a point where political violence would be justified or do you think? No, that I, just, well, again, okay. it can be justified. Like I just want people to be aware of the consequences of their actions. Like when I say it can be justified, what I'm saying is that like, if you are somebody that like adamantly supports somebody like Donald Trump, and like a hispanic person or a trans person wants to kick your ass i mean like fuck it dude like you fucking you you know you bought your ticket like i don't think you have a right to complain about it i don't think it's effective right now i don't think we need to get to that level i just i really wish people were more aware of i just get really tired of hearing like all these fucking white guys saying dumb shit like it's just a vote like it's just politics you should like just because we have a disagreement in political opinion doesn't mean we can't still be friends like no fuck off dude get the fuck out of here with your dumb shit like if you think some real fucking stupid shit no i'm not gonna be fucking friends with you right like, you want to go march around with fucking tiki torches? You better believe I'm cutting you out of my life. What kind of dumbass shit is that? Like, no, fuck no. Like, people, and people stop, fucking people break up friendships over pineapple on fucking pizza. Like, of course I'm not going to be friends with you if you think that we should, like, fucking kick out, like, Hispanic kids from this country because they don't meet whatever weird bar you have for being an American. Like, fuck that shit. 
so, so I mean, someone just brought up a quote today. Ah, some idiot made a Facebook rant, um, but it, it, it was basically saying like, you don't have the, I don't have to respect your opinion. You have a right. I respect your right to have an opinion, kind of something like that. Okay. And I, I can get that. Like, you you can have a stupid opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't have to respect it because it's stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can have that opinion. But I think that's completely different than saying you don't get to have an opinion. Yeah. Here is like this is like the thing that I want. Like it's really 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 hard to understand this. It's very hard for me to fucking understand. Okay. Wait. How old are you? Uh, thirty one. Oh shit. Okay. You're you're ahead of me. So you should know this. No, I'm just fucking with you. But like it took me a long time to get this right. A lot of the things. A lot of the times. What our goal or not our goal. What our gut is is our gut wants to say. These are just my opinions. This is just politics. This is just like my thoughts on this. Like you don't have a right to hate me over something. It's like these are just like political things, right? What are just politics to a lot of people, like in majority power status. So people that, for instance, whose peoples whose properties of existence don't necessarily lead to a worse existence. So for instance, like the property of male, the property of white, the property of straight. These are things that don't like demonstrably harm us in American society today. They don't. If you think they do, you're fucking delusional. Okay. So like. To us, you know, things like Colin Kaepernick, like, kneeling during an NFL game, that's just politics to me, okay? I don't want to hear about this dumb shit about fucking black people in my NFL game. It's just fucking politics. I don't care, right? But to a black person, this is what they live with every single fucking day of their life. So for you to say something like, well, it's just politics, you're basically telling people with these lived experiences, like, hey, dude, like... Honestly, your issue is not that important to me. Like, I just don't really care because it doesn't affect me most of the time, right? So you have to be really careful when you say things like, this is just politics, it's just my political opinion. Like, anytime you find yourself saying that, like, think like, well, would I say the same if this was an issue that actually directly affected me? If this was something that I had to live through and suffer through and deal with every single day, would I feel like it's just politics or would my perspective on this change? I think it's really important to be aware of those things. I I agree. Mm -hmm. And I was, initial response to Colin Kaepernick was, what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it was a bunch of things. It was, you know, yeah, sure. disrespectful to the flag. Is it unnecessary? Is it, hey, you're on the NFL's time. If mm-hmm. you're costing them money by your stand, you know, taking that stand, I, I think you're in the wrong, etc. But I do get it because there is an issue. There is something to be observed and there is a discussion to be had. Mm-hmm. And I think that the, if I can fucking, you know, take it, it took me, about, I think, a year, I think, for mm-hmm. that to come around. But if I can do it, then other people can do it. Sure. And yeah. Or if I can do it. it. I mean, like I said, I mean, you watch my old shit, like with fucking Richard Lewis, where I make arguments like white people should be able to say anywhere they want. <laughs> like, fuck, like, these are these are YouTube videos you can find today on YouTube. Like, yeah. So, I mean, like, I've obviously changed quite a bit as well. Yeah. I still have a problem with that one. Like, I and I it's one of those things that I'm afraid to talk about more. But mm-hmm. I think it's important, too, because there are people that are on the fringe that you can talk to. You, know, you can talk about anything with me, buddy. I'm not going to demonize yeah. you. OK, I'm a friendly lefty. All right. You're not, you're not going to demonize me, but I might get clipped, put up, and God knows what. Fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> with one of them clickbait titles. Mm-hmm. No, um, yeah, the but toxic it, but masculinity it, thing should be something that you intuitively understand. Were you ever... I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say you're real or not. Yeah, Were yeah, you ever yeah. deployed? Yeah. Okay, Four so times. then like... Okay, yeah, damn. Okay, so like that's something that should be like... Should hold like a pretty close place in your heart, right? Like mental health issues... Um, and stuff related to that in, in the United States military is can be in a pretty rough spot sometimes, right? Where you're like in this really weird world of like, um, you know, like, do I report mental health issues to my superiors? Does it make me less of a man, right? Like, there's a lot of pressure on like a fucking soldier that like, you're not going to be a fucking bitch baby and cry about shit. Like, you have to be, you know, like super masculine. You got to be like, and these are, these have really fucking negative impacts on, on people's heads. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that, cause you brought up that, that topic earlier, like, I, no, I, it- you know. Yeah, no, you're you're right. It, it's something that I've watched change. Mm-hmm. I've watched people's ideas of it change. I think I can, I was involved with a lot of people that were um, a little more aware of it and a little more concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, my last one of my last deployments was with um, again. I'm not for the stolen valor folks. I wasn't special forces, but I was with a special forces unit, um, and just the cognizance about you know the detriment of being over there and the the op tempo and the things you're exposed to. Mm-hmm. Um, they have, you know, it's very open community about it. They, mm-hmm. They're very much concerned. And then trying to come um, back and live like as a fucking civilian after all of that, like Jesus. Yeah, no, it's it's fucking difficult. And um, but with the toxic masculinity thing, so like if you say, "Hey, man up," like I get what you mean. Mm-hmm. Do we need to find a different way to say it? Like I just like when it, you say like I guess like when you say like man up like. 
what are you trying to say? Like, take so responsibility it, for what you're doing. Like, you need to be able to take charge of the situation. Like, what I'm basically trying to get at is, I'm going to ask you, is like, is there anything here that we wouldn't want a woman to do too? No, like, exactly. And that's yeah. the thing. Like, you know, hey, you know, suck it up, uh, adjust to your surroundings. Uh, the part of toxic masculinity that really I get is like, the, I think one of the things that, that had come up on the, uh, what was it called? That, uh, Raw show. Mm -hmm. I think the topic was something about someone not having sex until a certain point in their life. Mm -hmm. And I get that. Like, I think it would be toxic masculinity uh, to, for your group of friends to say, uh, if you're like, hey, I'm, I'm just really not. So I, myself, I waited a long time to have sex. I was very religious and I, I wanted to wait for marriage. Mm -hmm. And um, anyone, I could see labeling it toxic masculinity if anyone who I explained that to said, oh, suck it up, be a man and go get some pussy, right? Yeah, sure. Like, I, I could get that. That's an unnecessary pressure. It, it works its way against me. Yeah, people even um, act like that, like, to me today. And it's actually equally annoying, even though it sounds like a humble brag. Like, the fact that people are like, oh, like, Destiny's so much cooler now. These fucking get laid or whatever. It's like, no, nah, I don't think that, like, this shouldn't be, like, a big part of, like, what it means to be a man. Or this shouldn't be a big part of, like, how you view your, like, worth in society as a male. It's like, the number of women that you can fuck. is like, I don't think that's a really healthy way to look at things at all. And it turns into, yeah, there's, like, so many negative things that come out of that. Right. And so if I were to say, but is what is masculinity? Like, I guess that would be a better thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, not to be a man, but is there something that is masculine? Like, what is masculinity? Is it strength? Well, women can be strong, too. Uh, is it is it um, desire to protect and provide? Women can protect and provide, too. Like, so do we say that the construct of masculinity isn't something? And does that also mean that we have to take femininity and the... Um, and diminish that as well, I guess. Um, fuck, I don't know, dude. It's I have to think a lot about it's it. I like I too. argue it from from my point of view. Like I wish it would all go away, cause like I fucking I don't know, dude. Like there are traits that I love that exist like in men and women, and I wish that like everybody would be like cool having these traits. I don't know. That's just how I feel, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So how do you feel about um? I d I don't know the argument well enough to to probably phrase it right, but I guess the idea that um, certain things that are celebrated in the transgender community actually mm -hmm. work against feminist ideas. Oh, like what? So, like the idea of, of feminine beauty, just femininity. Uh, that's itself. a really rough one. I can't give you a good answer. I don't know. That's something that I wrestle with. I've actually wanted to talk to ContraPoints about that a lot because I don't understand what I'm supposed to think about that. So when you say what, so that ties in, oh man, dude, I'm not joking. I have like three hours of notes for this. Um, when you bring up that point, I listened to your discussion with, I don't know who, but you made a comment that what's the transgender conservative, uh, B miss Blair white, Blair white. Yes. You said in one of your, one of your discussions, um, Blair white knows, I think it was the, the four way you had with, um, Sargon and, and whoever else, uh, and it was the comment that she knows nothing about trans rights. And so I guess you just said talking to, what was the other person's name? Well, uh, contra points. Yeah, you said you about how you're supposed to feel, but to what degree is her knowledge, Blair White's, um, not really, I guess, relevant when it comes to trans because she is trans has has gone through the experience and in. Well, this is of one of the this is one of the reasons why like um a lot of left leaning people will say things like minority voices are important and blah 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 and like to some extent they're right, but in a, to another extent I really don't give a fuck. Um, if you're a minority, like I judge things based on the merits of their arguments. If you're a minority or not, I don't give a fuck because there are minorities who say some real dumb shit, even about minorities as well, right? Like if every single minority viewpoint was important, then that means that we should listen to Candace Owens because she has some real important things to say about the place of black people in America, right? But we obviously know that's not true or milo yiannopoulos has good things to say about gay people in america we obviously know that's not true um so i i mean like i don't know like i i i try to judge things on the merits of their argument versus um oh yeah or like jesse lee peterson has good things to say about black people in america uh, <laughs> yeah so, so mm -hmm. I have, go ahead go ahead yes yeah, so, i mean i try to judge things based on like just like on the merits of their arguments if i can rather than um r I, yeah, think rather I, than, I think one of the issues i have and i I would like to one day do a stream with you where we discuss a lot of the the beliefs that I have and that have changed to kind of get a, an idea of where I stand politically. But mm -hmm. one of the um, the things that is I've thought about is that when I was really conservative, mm -hmm. anytime uh, uh, is homosexual still acceptable? Um, saying someone is homosexual is fine. Saying someone is a homosexual is probably not fine. So would I say uh, instead of instead of saying uh, a homosexual would say I say an LGBT member 
community member would say? Is that the? Um, sure. Or you could say like someone who's homosexual or a homosexual person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. God. Or someone a who's homosexual. Hom- Sorry, go ahead. A homosexual person would say, you know, they have some opinion, like gay marriage. I used to be against it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and if a homosexual would come out and say, I am also, is that wrong? You're right. fine. Just keep going. Don't well, worry about it. Go ahead. A homosexual would come out and say, I am against gay marriage. I would be uh-huh. like, their opinion matters too. And I can, I even then I could, I could say, I get that they don't speak for everyone. Mm-hmm. But at that point in time, it was like, but their opinion matters too. And I see everyone like, you know, a lot of slander in online communities against any gay person that would speak out against gay marriage. Mm-hmm. But I would argue, you know, that, but then now as I have different views and all that, I, I temper that a little bit more and say, well, yes, they have that opinion. But if the majority say X, Y, and Z, then you know yeah i don't even think it's the majority like i i wouldn't even care if them if the majority of the gay community said that gay people shouldn't get married i mean unless they have like a really good reason for it, like that wouldn't be enough to persuade me away from that it wouldn't be enough to persuade me away from it anymore but i would say that when i was on that other side it would Mm -hmm. be enough for me to to like really bed down and say no i can't agree with you majority says this yeah sucks Mm -hmm. let's do civil unions and be done with it hmm but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna step down because there are a lot of other people waiting ahead of me. So uh, I'm gonna sit in that room though. If you want uh, any more time with me, baby, I'll be here. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, buddy. I love you. Yep. Bye. Bye.